Hey guys, so I'm sure you all know how Florida is stereotyped to have the craziest people and I'm sure you guys also know about this trend that was happening a few years ago where you type in Florida man and your birthday and you see what crazy news headlines popped up that happened on your birthday. So, the day after this video is published is actually the day of my birthday and as a Floridian, I feel like I should have done this trend. We're basically gonna check out what crazy news headlines popped up on my birthday. Okay, so I got my laptop here and we are going to look up Florida man October 6th. Okay, so the first one says, Florida man interrupts Hurricane Matthew live TV report to yell I'm not gonna say that word out for Harambe. Wow. <laughs> I'm I think this guy was on something. Okay, next. <laughs> okay, the next one. Okay, no, that no, no, that's gross. No. I'm not saying that. That one wasn't funny, that was bad. Okay. Next. Okay, so the next one. Florida man with toy rifle prompts lockdown at three colleges. Dude, this how, how, no how, I don't understand. How does this rifle cause a lockdown? It's clearly, it's clearly fake. There's no, I don't understand. What? Says campuses of Florida Atlantic, Nova Southeastern College, and Broward College were on lockdown. Guys, it was a fake gun. Like, that's clearly a fake gun. It doesn't even look real. Like, I get if it was, like, a fake gun that looks like a real gun, but dude, this is a toy. Like, a legit toy. Why? How would this prompt a lockdown? Jeez. Okay, so this one's actually kind of different. It says Florida woman leads police on hours long chase through Big Lot's ceiling after allegedly trying to shoplift. Florida woman wanted for allegedly shoplifting at Big Lot's store was arrested after trying to make her getaway through a less traditional route, the ceiling. Woman! How do you expect to get away from the cops in the ceiling? Like, so she was in the store for several hours on Thursday night before she entered the woman's restroom with a shopping cart full of merchandise. Store manager tried to check on her but noticed several garbage cans positioned in a manner to barricade the door. She was advised that she was caught and the police were on their way but she never left the bathroom. The manager went to check on her and noticed tile missing from the ceiling and she was nowhere in sight. Eventually, deputies spotted her several times by removing tiles from various points in the ceiling. She allegedly didn't hear their commands to stop and kept crawling through the ceiling. The store was evacuated due to the danger of her possibly falling through the ceiling. She allegedly led authorities on an odd chase which roughly lasted six hours? What the heck? As they were trying to capture her, a deputy found her purse, which reportedly had syringes and a spoon and white residue, which tested positive for morphine. Great. Well, I mean, now you know why she decided to go through the ceiling. Eventually, around 1.40 a.m., she was spotted coming down from the ceiling using stacks of shelves. Just wow. Just wow. Okay, so... I am not really seeing much of anything else, so I'm gonna go to images. Okay, so this one says, Florida man lifts two TVs from Walmart, jukes out of his own pants, and gets arrested days later while carrying a crap pipe in his butt. <laughs> A 350-pound Florida man took off from Walmart Supercenter with two stolen TVs under his arms, but encountered quite a setback when his pants fell to his ankles. <laughs> Amazingly, he escaped but left a gift behind for the cops, his ID. The culprit was apprehended a few days later and had another gift for the cops as he was carrying a crack pipe stuffed with... Brillo? Brillo? I don't know what that is inside his butt when they tracked him down. Wow. Of course, y'all know only in Florida. Really. Only in Florida. 
So there's really not much of anything else that happened on my birthday. So I'm going to look up kind of like general news that happened on my birthday. Comment down below if you saw me on the street. How old do you think I would be? Like if you had to guess my age just by looking at me on the street, how old do you think I would am? Because a lot of people tend to think that I am a lot younger than I am. So I'm really curious to know how old do you think I am before you actually like see how old I am. Okay, so because there was really only that much that happened on my birthday. We're gonna see 19 fun birthday facts about October 6, 2000. So let's see what fun facts we can know about my birthday. Okay, it says, what day was my birthday, October 6, 2000? It says October 6, 2000 was a Friday and it was the 280th day of the year of 2000. It was the 40th Friday of that year. The next time you can reuse your old 2000 calendar will be in 2028. Both these calendars will be exactly the same. What? That's crazy. This year my birthday is on a Tuesday, next year it'll be on a Wednesday, and two years from now it'll be on a Thursday. It says there have been 7,302 days from the day you were born up to today. If you've been sleeping eight hours daily since birth, then you have slept a total of 2,434 days or 6.66 years. <laughs> You spend 33% of your life sleeping. Since night and day always follow each other, there were precisely 248 full moons after you were born up to this day. The next full moon you can see will be on October 31st at 2.51 GMT on Saturday. It says, fun stat, your first 1 billion seconds will happen sometime on June 14, 2032. Wow. Okay, how old are you in dog years? It says, if a dog named Shumi, an Irish, red, and white setter breed, was born on the same date as you, then it would be 105 dog years old today. Aww. Which celebrity shares my birthday? No one that I know, basically. What does my birthday, October 6, 2000 mean? Your birthday numbers 10, 6, and 2000 reveal that your life path number is 6. It represents selflessness, forgiveness, and creativity. You are a philanthropist, humanitarian, socially conscious, and are deeply concerned about the state of the world. So it says, what is the birthday horoscope for October 6? I'm a Libra, cardinal sign with air as western element. The ruling planet is Venus, the planet of love and beauty. According to the ancient art of Chinese astrology, or Eastern Zodiac, dragon is a mythical animal and metal is the Eastern element of a person born on October 6, 2000. What is the birthstone for October 6? It is opal. Opal is the modern birthstone for the month of October, while jasper is the mystical birthstone based on Tibetan origin. The zodiac gemstone for Libra is chrysolite. Lastly, the birthday stone for the day of the week Friday is emerald which is actually my sister's birth stem, so that's interesting. It says, fun fact, the birth flower for October 6, 2000 is Cosmos for constancy. Oh my god, okay, it says, what is my birthday compatibility for October 6, 2000? It says, when it comes to love and relationships, you are most compatible with a person born on September 10th, 1976. Dude, that person's like 24 years older than I am. No, no, no way. What the heck? <laughs> you have a birthday compatibility score of plus 142. It says you are most incompatible with a person born on August 11th, 1999. Dude, that's cl way closer in age than 24 years. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Okay, weird. This is fun stat. The world population in the year of your birth is 6,088,571,383, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. What was the number one song on my birthday? It's the number one song in the U.S. at the time of your birth was Music by Madonna. I have not heard this song, and it actually gives you like a preview to it, but I'm not gonna play it because, you know, copyright. How many babies were born on October 6, 2000? Based on the data published by the United Nations Population Division, an estimated 130,960,864 babies were born throughout the world in the year 2000. The estimated number of babies born on October 6, 2000 is 357,817. Wow, that's equivalent to 248 babies every minute. What the heck? 
says, try to imagine all of them crying at the same time. Oh my God. <laughs> What is a popular baby name on October 6, 2000? In the United States, the most popular baby girl name is Emily. This name was given to 25,953 baby girls. For the boys, it's Jacob. This name was recorded 34,471 times in the year 2000. Wow. Okay guys, so that was it. Um, I will leave the link to this last website that I was talking about in the description down below so you guys can check it out and see all the fun facts that happened on your birthday. I think that would be really interesting. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know down below, like I said, comment how old you think I am. If you saw me on the street, how old would you think I would be? I'm really curious to know because everyone has a different answer. And don't forget to subscribe down below for more and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Um, I don't like that either. Why? She allegedly, alle bleh, oh, no, 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 bleh.